With most storms, warnings can come days in advance, but sometimes the more direct warnings come only minutes ahead of trouble. It's what you do beforehand that could very well make a life-saving difference. Brad Underwood joins us tonight with some guidance on that. Brad, I am all ears. This is just so frightening. We all need to think again about being prepared. We really do, and there's so many ways that you can sign up to get alerts and notifications to be prepared ahead of the unpredictable storms. But, you know, the tri-state certainly not immune to tornadoes. We do get them every year, but it is, again, what you do in preparation uh, for your home as well as your families that can really make the difference when dealing with the unpredictable twisting column of air. We all know that sound means dangerous weather is coming. But before the sirens and alarms go off, emergency workers want you to be as prepared as possible. So you have the wireless emergency alerts. You have our system that can call you, uh, text you or email you. And then, of course, all of the news stations, yours included, have systems in place that people can sign up to receive information about uh, severe weather. Like the Local 12 Weather Authority app. Your phone can even send you alerts. Just go into your notifications, scroll down to government alerts, and turn them on. You can also sign up for alerts from county emergency management agencies. What our system does, it picks up the people that have registered, it picks up those addresses, and it calls those people and tells them they're under a tornado warning. Hamilton County Emergency Management Director Nick Crosley says during a tornado, you should go to the basement. If you don't have one, go to an interior space, stay away from windows, and uh, put as much between you and the outside walls as possible. There are other options like storm shelters. And while they are expensive, you can actually get most of them paid for thanks to the Safe Room Rebate program in Ohio that's nearly a decade old. Somewhere around 200 plus uh, safe rooms with another 200 and some in the process of being installed. While tornadoes are unpredictable, emergency workers will forever stress preparation and protection. If you're impacted by something like this, uh, that you have either the right homeowner's insurance that will help you rebuild your home or that you have renter's insurance. Crossley also stressing to pay attention to these alerts uh, before the storm systems arrive in your area. And of course, paying attention to your meteorologist at the Weather Authority. Now, if you're home, Crossley saying, you know, if you don't have the right space or you don't feel that your home could be safe enough, if you can, it's best to maybe go to a neighbor's house who has a basement or a safe space or someone else's home away from the storm and return after it rolls through. Reporting live tonight, Brad Underwood, Local 12 News. Paula. All right, thank you, Brad. And if you haven't already downloaded our free weather app, it's very easy. You just type in Local 12 in the search bar. It comes up. It says Local 12 weather. You can choose it. I was going through it tonight, and John might correct me, but you probably want to do it at your home. So if you're visiting at someone's house right, right. now, don't do it. Do it at your house because it asks you, do you want this location as the location that gets the warning specifically, right? Well, let's go Am to the I expert right? to find out, John. <laughs>